गुड मॉर्निंग केडी मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग केडी वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग शुड वी गेट स्टार्टेड या गुड मॉर्निंग करेक्ट माय स्क्रीन यू सी माय स्क्रीन शेयर Uh, yesterday we left off SQL Server 2000. We're in the middle of, not left off. We're in the middle of SQL Server 2005 installation. Let's get that. Let's get that. Seeing it now. system okay uh, i am in c drive going into media folder sql server 2005 hey by the way yesterday we had a discussion right sir uh, how to download how will you download this software correct so please wait by end of this week mostly by next week earliest monday uh, we should be starting the lab Um, okay. you all you all will be starting the lab mostly and um, so then then we will show you but again let me also temporarily show you from where you can download the software if somebody wants to do it a step ahead okay so first let's finish this one so sequel server 2005 you all know this right from where i got this i will show you okay, let me show you sir let's finish that first are you seeing this link you also can do it let me open up whatsapp paste in our group okay sir i paste i pasted this in our whatsapp group so that is the link where you should technically go to download the software sir of course the same media is present in our p cloud also but if you download from p cloud it will slow down because of the bandwidth issue when everybody goes and downloads from the same central location it would so slow down better than that sir microsoft has given a privilege microsoft has given a option microsoft allows us to download so look at this you can download as old as 2000 also you can download as old as 7.0 is not there so 2000 so you just have to go here sir can you all go to this link the link which i shared one challenge will be if you oh, let, let me put in the zoom chat also I'll keep it in the Zoom chat if that is easier for you. <clears throat> if you don't want to open WhatsApp web on your laptop, I'll keep it in the Zoom chat. So you just have to click that link, sir. One more thing: when you click on the link, anybody clicked right now? What do you see? Yes, sir. Uh, it is I'm asking for Microsoft sign. It'll ask you for sign in, right? So you don't have a subscription. You don't have a subscription. So what do you need to do, sir? Enroll for it. Uh, register something you have. Uh, do you, I mean anybody? Does any of you want to share your screen, sir, so that let everybody see? Because I already have a sign in. If anybody can share, I have stopped my screen share. If any of you can share your screen, let's do it now. Well, well, everybody has seen, and others can follow. There will be instructions on our material as well, how to do it. But can somebody show me right now, sir? Anybody sharing your screen? one kedi i want to but i am on a mobile today so i will not be able to share it properly okay anyone else sir uh, 
I'll guide you, sir. You just have to share your screen. I think Prajit can. Or anyone else? Or Prajit? Yeah, I can. But the thing is, like, I am not opening that link in my office laptop. That's the thing. No. Oh, okay. I have opened that on my mobile, and I have uh, able to so sign on a personal PC. Preferably yeah. on a personal PC. Anybody wants to share your screen? Oh my God! Nobody wants yeah. to share the screen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll share my screen. Okay, okay then go ahead, Lavanya. I'll guide you. I am signing using GitHub. It is giving me an option. Hmm. So, Lavanya, yeah. So you have an Outlook mail ID, right? Now, I would prefer to not to use any office subscription. Is this office mail ID? And moreover, you're in yeah. Mac. Now you're yeah, in Mac. I'm... You're in Mac. No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay, then I stop your screen share. And moreover, okay. I would suggest to use personal email IDs because office subscription will. Today, I'm trying. Oh, just a minute. Today. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Are you Ishwar. Able to yes, yes Ishwar. Ishwar. We are able to see oh. it. Uh, so you opened up, right, sir? Uh, no, can you just show everybody like what you did? Can we do from the beginning again? Yeah, copy that link again, sir. Copy that link from or it's HTTPS. I'll tell you, you just type it, sir. It's okay. HTTPS colon double slash. Or can, would you want to give me the control? I've requested control. Can you give me control? Thank you. Just a minute. It's still loading, I think. Everyone, sir, I can't do in my PC. That's why I'm asking Ishwar to share the screen. I cannot do in my PC, sir. That's why. Because I already have a subscription. I already have a login. Okay, there you go. It's a bit slow. Just waiting for Sir, everyone, this is the link, sir. My.visualstudio.com slash downloads. That is the link. Okay, now, when I think uh, you open the same link here, right? If I'm not wrong. Yeah. So that is the link which was open. And uh, uh, Ishwar, do you have an Outlook mail ID or something? Or if you don't have, you can create a new one. No, no Outlook mail ID. Okay, then let's let's create a new one. And your choice, sir. I would, I will stay back. You can get a new email address. Get a new email address. Did you take the control again? One second. Can you click on get get a new email address? I don't know for some reason I'm not able to click it. No, get a new email address. No, can you can you type click on get a new email address? There's a link below. Yeah, yeah. Now type. Okay, done. Yeah, create a password. Remove that tick box, and I would like information tips, or else it will bombard you. Okay, we are closing our eyes. Okay, next. That's it. Sir. Uh, yeah, save it. Save it. Save it. Because you will use only personal right. You will use this. Okay, now, so did you notice everyone and like how Ishwar is logging in? Now, Ishwar's account will be created. Ah, hit next. Okay, rabbit, rabbit. Where is the rabbit? Rabbit, rabbit. Yeah, left, left, left. Click it. Already clicked? I don't know why we can't see. Maybe it's loading very slowly. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that not rabbit? Okay, try again. This one. Pick the Plus pizza, 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 pizza on the top. Pizza, second one. Second one. Yeah. 
एक द पिज्जा बॉय लेफ्ट 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 पिज्जा सेकेंड वन बॉटम थैंक यू पिज्जा पिज्जा ऑन द टॉप राइट ओके अकाउंट क्रिएट That's it. Sir, everyone, have you seen it? Uh, yeah. Continue. That's it. Now you are there. It is so easy. Now go to download section. Once it comes. It's loading. Yeah. Yeah. Just one minute, sir. It's still creating. Confirm. 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 Yeah. Now go to download section. Search for SQL Server two thousand five. Yeah. Search for SQL Server two thousand five. Two thousand five. No, no. Five. Two thousand five. now click on yeah go for developer edition rest all you can ignore uh, developer edition and one second near cdr one minute near cdr put a down arrow near cdr next option only cdr okay download uh cd1 cd2 there are two series for this one you, you, but one second huh? let me explain everyone sir all of you i hope you are seeing this first one is nothing but servers Ishwar, for your information, the first one is called as servers. The second one is nothing but the tools. Got it? Servers and tools folder. So scroll down a little more before you download. Scroll down a little more, sir. That's it, right? All are express editions. I think these are all free. You come back. We don't want all of that. Scroll up. Ah, only one option you have: developer edition. Ah, click on download, sir. Download the first one. It will take some time. Then download the second one. Put the second one also for download. See, you got the ISO. Something is wrong. Want to try again? Again, I just yeah. Okay. First one is downloading. Download the second one, please. But it is four hundred. No, not now, sir. Maybe one after later. Yeah. Okay. That's it. This is how you get it. You, now you got the software, right? Yeah. Download the second one also. See, one is server, second one is tools. CD two. No, I download the thing after some time. Ah, okay. Uh, one, once that is finished, then you download this one also. Okay. And once both are done, Ishwar, let me know. Okay. Okay. You need to share your screen one more time, sir, because I just want to show the same installation in your PC. I can also do. You can also do. Anybody can do. Where I can download this one? Which one, sir? Your voice is breaking. Where I can find? Ah, uh, in your downloads folder. Control J. Press Control J. Control J. No, uh, press Control plus J key. Okay. Okay. Click on the top top right side there on the downloads. Yeah. Click on there and click on that uh, folder folder icon on the top. No, no, on the top sir. Yeah. No, the left one. No. That's it. That's it. Control J also. If you press, it should show up. Yeah. It's downloading here. Downloads folder. So please wait for it to finish. I am stopping your screen share, Ishwar. Once both are downloaded, let me know. Okay. Everyone, saw sir. It's like pretty easy method, straightforward. You can also do. Just go ahead and, uh, but make sure that link is available. Register with your email ID or create a new email ID. That's all. Two thousand five. You can download. Let me share my screen now. So SQL Server two thousand five. You can download. Two thousand eight. You can download. Eight R two you can download. Twelve you can download. Fourteen you can download. Sixteen you can download. Nineteen you can download. Everything you can download. All right, sir. This is the fastest way of download. Moreover, all good. Any questions? Perfect. So happy now, Shiva Krishna, Doctor Babu.
Okay. Doc, doc, I actually you know what? As if Krishna is a friend of um is, is a friend through a common friend. Uh, so, um, I mean, actually, I got a secret that he's called as Dr. Babu. <clears throat> so if most of you don't know what is Dr. Babu, there is one Telugu serial. And and in that, sir, this character, hero's character is so famous. So, so famous that everybody knows who is Dr. Babu. Like that lady, sir, what is that Hindi serial that became famous, right? Trending. Uh, I forgot the name. Kitchen me kya ho What is the dialogue? Antalakta. Ah, sorry. Babi ji ghar me. Antalakta. Ha ha ha. That one. So something like that, you know. This character is famous. So Shiva Krishna, happy now? Because I'm almost every alternate day sends me a message. Kedi, when can I download? Please tell me when can I download. Okay, so at least for Shiva Krishna, shake this was done. Shake it was done. Okay, chalo. So all of you, you can also start your downloads. Sir, only one challenge will be, of course, you need to do it on your laptop. Okay, Lavanya Macintosh are not allowed. So SQL Server does not install on a Apple machine. Doesn't work. So mm, what is the alternate for you? Okay, yeah, you can do one thing. On your Macintosh, you have to install a virtual machine, VM. And on that, you have to install. Or if you have a Windows PC, better. Awesome. Done. Second thing, sir, all of you, if your bandwidth, sir, if, you, if you have a Wi-Fi, sir, no sizes, look at the sizes, GBs and GBs of sizes. So if you are using a mobile internet, sir, I don't think this will work. You need to have a broadband or somebody said, right, Geo's, uh, somebody, I only said, Geo um, 250 GB, some plan or 60 GB, some plan is there. So work from home plan. So that you need to set up and then start downloading. Am I clear? And sir, don't download everything at one shot. Give a gap one by one. You can download and uh, any questions anybody has? Sir? Do we need okay. to install all SQL versions or anyone is fine? So I would recommend to start with 2005 first. Then I would recommend to install all SQL Server versions, sir. Reason okay. because we should see the evolution, right? From see, actually, of course, in Office, what are we using now? If you technically ask this question, in Office, right. of course, 2019 is being yes. used. Um, almost many companies, sir. but in many companies, 2019 is also there, 2017 is also there, 2016 is also there, 2014 is also there, 2012 is also there, 2008 R2 is also there, 2005 is also there, 2000 is also there, 7.0 is also there, 6.5 is also there. Okay. So, yeah. so hence, sir, the, I would recommend to start with at least don't go to 2006.5, 7.0. They are not available, but at least you can start with 2005 and every version we have to do. So now background is set. You all know how to download now. If you face any challenges, let me know, but start downloading. Oh. The link is with you. Kedi, one question. Actually, my PC, I'm having only 4 GB RAM. I need to okay. install SQL Server at a time means it's not possible, I think. I no. think first I need to install the SQL Server 2005. After that, uninstall and again 2008 install. Is it like that or is there any other way? I think with 4 GB RAM, Maheshwari should not be a problem. Okay, it may, it may work a bit slow, but you install 2005, then you install 2008, then you install 2012. I don't think there will be any concern. Ah, the system might behave a little slow. But other than that, I have done it multiple times. You know, with the 4 GB RAM, um, n number of instances we have installed. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm? Okay. Done. Unless and until you see it extremely slow, let me know. We can talk about it, but it should work. So all of you, again, I'm saying, sir, do not waste your money by purchasing some laptops. Okay. If you really have any plan to purchase laptop, have a talk. We can talk. I don't want you to waste your money on a laptop. Other than that, nothing much. Because the cost of laptop right now are extremely high because of the semiconductor shortage. Not only not only laptop industry, sir, the entire uh, world is struggling with semiconductor shortage. Prices are much more than normal. So if you're not aware of it, just an update. If you're looking for a laptop, I'll tell you what to do. What is the workaround? Workaround? No, no, nothing. Sir. I'm just saying, rather than going for a high-end laptop, a basic laptop is sufficient because everyone, just for your information, sir, 
all the practicals, high end practicals, right? We will be doing in cloud machines, Azure machines. Yeah. So your laptop need not be a high end. Don't go for a very costly laptop or I need i7, i5, i5 is still low, but i7, i9, no, not required. So why to waste money? Basic laptop is even i3 would happily make our work go well. Okay, that's what I'm saying. If somebody is planning to purchase, that's fine. But sir, do let me know so I can give you the right guidance. Because whosever money it is, why to waste money? Okay, moving on. Sir. Back on note. May I start the installation now? You all know from where to download. Starting 2005. Okay, one more doubt. Like, KD, one more doubt. Like, uh, can I download from an other computer and I can uh, uh, take this? Yeah, yeah, sure. Like, sir, why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you use a hard disk for a pen drive and just transfer it to your current PC. Why not? So again, people who are using office laptops, be a little vigilant. Don't use your office laptops for this lab purpose, unless and until you have admin rights on your office laptop. Your company allows you to install SQL servers on it. Then okay. But so double check once. Eh? Double check once. Ask your boss or ask your whoever can guide you. People who are working, be careful. If you're using office laptop, just be a little cautious and don't log in with office mail ID. Okay. Create a new mail ID from there. You download the software. Thank you. Sir. Did you notice now? I mean, when uh, Ishwar was downloading the SQL server software, right? Everyone, did you, I hope you noticed, sir. Uh, he didn't have all this. Okay. He didn't have all this. You know what he was downloading directly? SQL server 2005. 64 bit, 64 direct, bit. I don't know if you saw the option, right? Directly 64 bit. That means when, when uh, Ishwar, when you download the software, you will not see all these options, Ishwar. I mean to say this ISO file, which I have, you will not see. You will also get ISO file, but you will directly go where, you know, nothing directly into X64. You will have servers and tools. So servers is nothing but CD one, which you saw now, sir. And so the tools is nothing but CD2. And Ishwar, once your download is complete, you should extract. I'll show you. WinRare, you have to install also. First one then, download is completed. Okay. Already start the second one, Ishwar. Let's, okay. let's show I'll everybody start. what. Huh. Now, so let's move on, sir. Go to servers. May I start the installation? Thank you. Setup.exe, I already told you. Run as administrator. I accept. This is also developer edition. Ishwar is also downloading developer edition. Hit next. Ishwar, I want to do installation in your PC also today. Let's do it okay. together. Once second is also downloaded. Let me know. Okay. Sir, 14 checks run on the system. You all know it now. 14 checks will run on the system. Hmm. Done. Sir, in some of your laptops, when you do the installation, right, sir? Not all 14 will be successful. Some may give you warning. Warnings are somewhat still acceptable. Errors are not, but some may give you warnings. Sir. Don't worry about the warning. I'll tell you what to do when that warning comes. KDI completed download. Sure. Mohit, if you can both, sir. Both. Mohit? Uh, yes, KDI. Both are completed. Oh, okay, good. So if you want to share your screen, we can do the installation on your PC as well. Where once you are ready. So yes, we'll do okay then two minutes more. So sir, everyone, can I hit next, sir? Perfect. Ah, help me, sir. Help me with the options now. So I told you uh, my name, company name, and the license key. So you will also have some hard coded license key. Something will be there. Huh? License key in your system. Hit next. Ah, components, right, sir? Yesterday we were talking about this. Hey, we are not analysis services people. We are not reporting services people. We are not integration services people. So we will not select all that. Only select what? Database services and That's tools. It. Tools if you want. If you want tools, select tools. If you don't want tools, then don't take it. We want tools. Hit next. Right, sir? And by the way, uh, if somebody wants to go to advanced option, go to advanced option. Hmm? Uh, and in the documentation, so if you don't want documentation, disable documentation. If you don't want it, just disable it. If you want, keep it. Documentation means help something to read information. 
if you want documentation it is available online also okay done and tools client components are nothing but tools uh, all the software tools that you need so we already selected so we want it only documentation i have disabled okay that's all sir hit next of course we are installing in c drive and this is where we stopped yesterday at the place called instance what is an instance sir We can have with the two types of instances named or uh, what is an others. instance? Achha. Collection of memory structures and some background. So, that's it, right? See, so look at this. Buffer, look, buffer look at this. Background, uh, yeah, this is also nice combination of buffer pool and background processes. So, before we answer that, so first of all, you all know databases, end of the day, databases are stored in the hard drive. You, I, we all know. End of the day, databases are stored in the hard drives. Agree? Perfect. But, but when I, when somebody wants to access the database, sorry, they can't directly touch the database. So they have to connect with whom? Instance. Oracle also instance. SQL Server also instance. DB2 also instance. Postgres also instance. MySQL also instance. Other names are there. In every RDBMS, you go and check, sir. They call it instance only. Anybody calls it instance only. So, sir, uh, you need somebody called an instance. Only instance can help you connect to the database, access, meaning, sir, you will never connect to database directly. Instance will be a mediator. So, yesterday, uh, I think there was one more answer that came from another Rahul that, okay, can I call instance as an interface? or a mediator between user and the database. Of course, you can 200% call. That's also a definition. So, sir, is instance compulsory for SQL Server database? Can database live without instance? No. no. Can, can, can instance live without database? Answer no. is yes. Uh -huh. Answer is yes with no purpose. Yeah. No purpose. Of course, database can also live without instance, but no purpose, no purpose of life. But but there will be some uh, uh, databases, even if it is not the user database, there will be a system database on the thing. Hmm. I mean, that we will discuss, sir. but overall databases, databases as a topic, databases cannot live without instances that con conversation. Of course, there are different types of databases, which we will talk. So, but right now our topic is instance. So everybody, are you okay? I'm moving on. So I'm very confident. Yes. I'm hoping that you all understood what is an instance now. Without in yes, Sandhya. Uh, can you once again uh, pardon for me, please? Uh, do what, sorry? Uh, instance. Sir. Okay. So no, no. I'm just telling the same. See, yesterday we had a definition, right? Um, see, instance. Oops, I don't know where I kept it. Oops. Uh, I kept it in a notepad. Maybe. Yeah. So instance is a combination of memory, memory yeah. structures and background processes. So uh, you saw the picture. We all saw the picture yesterday. Uh, I'll not show Oracle architecture, sir. Cut the crap. Let's go for SQL Server architecture. Okay. If you just go for SQL Server architecture, go to images. Yeah, I mean, this is what you will see. Yeah, this is what you will see. And I think it's a better picture than yesterday. See, this is the database. Sir. Databases are stored in the hard drive. And believe me, a user comes from here, somewhere on the globe, somebody anywhere in the same system or from another person somewhere on the globe, the person will come. But remember, the, the it cannot touch the database directly. It has to interact with what? Instance. So this is instance. This is instance. This is instance. All are instance. What is this one, sir? Especially buffer pool, meaning this is RAM, memory, buffer pool. And this is also some background processes. All of them are called as instance. So, KD, what are you saying? If I install one instance, I mean, if I install this one now, what will happen in my system? In my system, one instance will be installed. Sir? Default instance means every instance needs a name for your kind information. Every instance needs a name. Like we all have names, instance also needs a name. So two things, sir. 
instance so let's go to um, my computer this pc this pc right click properties so look at my computer names my computer name is what kdp and pc that's my computer name so for example my laptop name is kdp and pc you see if i select default instance if i select default instance my computer name will be my instance name so instance name by default picks the default instance means what sir whatever is the computer name instance will say your name is my name that's it sir i can it if i say computer. if i say good sir if i say named instance Yeah, we can name it whatever we want. We can give it a name. So, sir, yeah. let's let's take a, a small notepad and let me type here. So, what what is the computer name? So, default instance means in my laptop I am saying uh, KDP iPhone PC. That's my instance name. Named instance means, sir, I can give a name for the instance. For a, yeah, for example, I would want to give uh, INST one. INST one means uh, INST one means instance one. Instance one. So here it is computer name. Here it is INST one. That's all, sir. But remember, one minute, sir. One minute, everyone. Condition. Always remember, sir. Even be, even before INST one, you have to add what? Instance name. Your I mean, computer name. Default name. Computer name. No, no, computer name. So before INST right. one, you need to add your computer name. So what is the what is my instance name now, sir? INST one. See, for example, Kerry, what if I type INST one here? Though you are typing INST one here, sir, the real it's name is here. always your like your surname, right? Your surname will be attached to your name always, and it is there. Okay, in some states, surnames are not there. Father's name will be added to our actual name, which is also a good way. So, anyway, sir, here it is. Before the instance name prefix, you need to always put your computer name. So, for example, if I am saying INST one. That means in the background, the instance name is what, sir? KDP iPhone PC, my computer name, backslash INST1. If I give uh, uh, Krishna Chaitanya, right? Uh, Chaitanya, Krishna. If I type my instance name as Krishna, so KDP iPhone PC slash Krishna. Server name slash instance name. Ah, so sure. server name or server name or computer name must be added, sir. Ah, what if I say default instance? Just the server name. Computer name, server. Name. Takes computer name. Everybody okay with this? In yes. Every instance has a name, sir. Name is mandatory. And by the way, sir, one more important condition. One more important condition, sir. So you all agree, right, sir? I can install SQL Server 2005 also. Hmm. 2005, I can install n number of times. 2005, first time. 2005, second time. 2005, third time. 2005, fourth time. 10 times, sir. So for example, I installed 2005 10 times. I installed uh, SQL Server 2008 R2 uh, another uh, maybe uh, five times. Okay, sir. And then I installed uh, SQL Server 2019, for example, another uh, nine times. Okay, that means how many inst nine instances are there in my system now? 10 plus 24. 9, 19, and plus another 5, 24 instances. 24. Are so, like this, sir, in a computer, maximum instances. Maximum instances are 50. I told you at the end of the class yesterday, 50 okay. maximum instances are possible, sir. But one minute. If you go and ask an Oracle DBA, hey, Oracle DBA, in a laptop or in a server, if I install Oracle instances, how many Oracle instances can be installed maximum? Answer is unlimited. Okay. So we have a 50 limit. They have unlimited limits. Just telling you, you can install any number of Oracle instances. Only thing is, like Maheshwari, you mentioned, RAM must be sufficient. Sufficient enough memory must be there in the system. If not, you can install n number of instances. So 50 limit is only for SQL Server. Got it? Sir, yep. nobody installs 50 instances. Okay. 50 itself is a too much count. 3 to 4 max. Ah, one, one maximum in real time. Okay, chalo, worst case 2 or 3 or 4 max. Nobody installs 50. I'm just telling you as a limit. Sir. Okay. So done. Good. Any questions? In there are some naming conversions for, I mean, uh, some 
like they won't take special characters or something in uh, named instance right uh ah uh, okay yeah so we'll we'll, yeah. we'll talk about that sir. we'll talk about that also but first of all sir all of you are you clear with this now one minute sir one more thing in for example i installed 24 instances now right total yes sir yeah 24 instances we have installed in total okay good in the game yeah so 24 instances are possible maximum no 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 50 are possible maximum but 24 instances are there now very important point sir out of 24 instances only one can be a default instance in a computer, sir, in a computer, only one default instance is possible. This is a condition in a computer. If there is another computer, another default instance is possible. But in an entire machine, in an entire system, only one default instance is possible. Any questions? No. Now, like, like for example, sir, if I say A, B, what comes to your mind? Amita Bachchan. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Why not Abhishek Bachchan? Aradhya Bachchan? Aishwarya Bachchan? One person steals the show. That's it, sir. There ends the story. There is no replacement for AB. Amita Bachchan. Right? Okay. I mean, you can take any other names, for example, sir. Puneet Rajkumar. Not Puneet, I'm sorry. Um, Shiv Rajkumar. So sorry. Rajkumar. In Karnataka, or if you take NPR in Telugu, or if you take Tamil, am I missing someone? In GR? Rajnikan. No, no. Generations must be working in the movies. Rajnikan. No, no. Generations will be in the must be in the movies. Vijay. Vijay's father is an actor as well, is it? Tamil? Why don't you? MGR. No, their generations Kaushar. must be in the movies. MGR. MGR is the best example. MGR's sons are also actors. Sansar, Sansar. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. Chiranjeevi. Oh, you, a lot of examples will come. Thank you. Thank you for all the wonderful flow of examples. Sir. Now, now, so the same thing I'm saying. One person steals the show, sir. In an, in an entire computer, only one default instance can exist. Keep that in mind and we are done. Any questions, please? So again, we are going to play the <clears throat> waiting room game. I'm seeing people still not on camera. This is condition. Please, uh, please don't play with uh, you uh, today. Yeah? Okay, no, I saw your message. I saw the message. Thank you. I got kicked off like. Uh, no, 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 got it. I saw your WhatsApp message. Yeah. So, everyone, any other questions, please? So, now, now time to talk. There is a point which Prajot raised just now. So, every instance, for example, you are following named instance. There are some conditions. Uh, instance name should not start with a number. Uh, instance name must not cross 16 characters in length, 16, 16 characters maximum. Uh, special characters are not allowed. Um, underscore dollar are allowed. Special characters are not allowed. Underscore, what is the difference? I think underscore and dollar are two symbols which are accepted okay. in an instance. name. Other than underscore and dollar, no other special symbols are allowed okay. sir again uh, i mean these are out of no need to remember all this sir. but anyways it should not start with a number length is maximum 16 characters 16 or 15 i think you have to check and then last but not the least sir is uh, uh special underscore, underscore and, dollar. and dollars are uh, allowed allowed other than that nothing else is allowed okay sir that's it then so i think no, there's nothing more to talk in the screen if you guys have any questions i'll wait but an instance is compulsory for the database. Let me mute everyone. Ah, Sandhya, sorry. Unmute. Go ahead. Uh, Katie, just I wanted to say my understanding after uh, uh, your uh, lecture. See, uh, instance is a thing. Uh, suppose uh, when we want to hit a database, uh, then we will be uh, writing some of the queries. 
as we are no dbms so that uh, when to execute certain kind of queries or some sort of things actions then that will be hitting a processors and the memory that is random memory and back end flow whatever is there that process completely and getting the execution of that is nothing but an instance is my right. understanding correct no 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 200% see when you want to submit a query and the query runs the query must go and touch the database so that's fine but who will process the query the instance mm -hmm. who will do yeah. the parsing but i we discussed the architecture right who yeah. will do the parsing yes. instance who will do the um, optimization instance who will make the final plan instance who will execute that instance who will who will bring the data from hard disk to memory instance who will modify instance who will write it back instance so only thing is you will give an instruction instance will take care of rest of the things correct okay yeah clear so, yeah thank you sandhya i think sir sandhya well summarized as you saw the whole process so the point is without instance not even a single step that we any you want to query write a query i want to write a query without instance it's impossible whether a dba is running the query whether a developer is running the query or whoever anything anything that has to happen in the instance see anything that has to happen in the database must be done by instance this is correct again sir irrespective of any database technology oracle sql db2 postgres any database technology yes imran instance name uh, so what we can give uh, kd uh, now so i mean your choice sir okay i mean as per company standards if you ask me <coughs> depends Com your organization will decide what name they have to give it depends on the location of the server also uh, correct a lot of things are there which we will discuss in future but for now you give anything sir. i mean i i will always prefer to give inst1 inst2 inst3 or no one more thing so wait if you want to know what it is see for example this is sql server 2005 right i'll put sql 2005 sir. i'll know at least this is 2005 instance or see underscore is allowed right sql 2005 underscore one my 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 first 2005 instance so i i'm giving names like this sir. you can give as per your company standards one minute click on installed instances and it will show you in your laptop right now maybe maybe when you are doing first time you will not see all this but right now i am showing you sir so you can see in my laptop i already have 1 2 3 4 5 instances already installed this is my sixth one which i am installing so if you can click on installed instances you can see if any existing instances are there in your system so by the way by looking at this can you tell me is it a default or a named instance in bracket or what is mentioned named instance. Named instance. Named ah, named instance. everything is named in bracket what is mentioned named db mail named. test in bracket what is mentioned inst2 uh, inst2019 inst2k 2k19 INST2K19. So I mean, sir, so these all are my named instances. So technically, in my laptop, I don't have a default instance now. So because there is no default instance, can I pick it up? Yes, you can pick it up. If you already have a default instance, sir, then you can't pick it up. So uh, in this list, if there was anything that says SQL Server without anything in brackets, it is default. Meaning in brackets, INST2. These names are there, right, sir? all the five are named only if in brackets there is nothing then it is called as what if it only says sql server then it means it's a default so you can if you click on installed instances you can see how many instances are there in your system so so now i have a choice i can go with default also i can go with named also you tell me what to go with i'll go with it default already five are there named Yes. Okay, I'll go with the default yes, then, as you said. I'll hit next. Hit next. Hey, anything else? I have. We have discussed everything about instance now. Uh, uh, instance is a collection of memory structure and background. Memory structures process. and background process. Oracle definition, remember. But SQL Server definition. If you still ask me, I'll say instance is a collection of buffer pool and some background processes to keep to keep it simple, not to copy their definition as is. Okay. Second thing, sir. Uh, in a in a computer, SQL Server supports up to 
ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ Okay, thank you sir i still see many of you not on camera so mm, good okay 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 so let's move on i will not bring you all back <coughs> because sir, we follow this stringently um, so i will not get anything if i leave you all off i'll say okay listen or not i don't care if this is how i feel then this journey will not go well and so i have seen some disastrous things trust me okay on bed on the bed blanket and then sleeping and listening that would no way go to the mind impossible sleeping also i have seen uh, i have seen my daughter doing it at house personally sitting next to her hey wake up attend the class teacher is busy and turn off the camera so so we don't want that those things in our class as simple as it sounds and and so please crack jokes be engaged i'll be more than happy if you crack jokes on me i can counter crack a joke as well so i mean be be jovial so i mean be happy let's have that one one and a half one hour one hour 15 minutes of session to be more entertaining than just keeping it boring single sided speech huh? no and sandhya i really appreciate you uh, you summarizing the conversation at the last thank you okay Done, sir. Now moving on. Can we go to the next screen? It's the last three more screens are there. At least we have to finish 2005 today. Oh, 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 shame if you don't come. Through. Can I hit next now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Anything else left, sir? Here. Nothing. Any questions left here? No. Okay. Okay. So you may ask one question. You should actually ask one question. When I click on install instances, how did SQL Server pull? I mean, how did this installation pull all these five instances names? how did it know from where did it pick it's called registry it's called registry i'll show you the registry part a little later so it goes and sees the information from there sir it pulled all the info and displayed on your screen that these many instances are there okay chalo now let's you can even see that in configuration manager we can but assist. but but it will not do from there because it will take time sir if it takes from configuration manager but anyways we'll we'll discuss that later so so can we move on now so i'm picking default yeah. instance because i don't have a default instance hit next yeah so actually what it is saying is hey you selected tools but buddy you already have tools in your system that means sir my previous installation i already have a 2005 in my system so it is saying that sorry i'm skipping tools because you already have tools okay fine i already have tools so it is skipping sir i'm fine with it can i hit next yes for you maybe you'll not get this because you're doing for the first time okay done sir. okay abo important screen as well so uh this screen what you are seeing now is called as service account sandhya as you mentioned a, a moment back that you are inserting a query that yeah. your query your query is processed by all these people and then finally whenever you are modifying a data the page is coming into buffer pool because you are modifying somebody's salary so instance is going to the database and pulling the data page we'll talk what are pages later everyone but that data is bringing to the data is being bought to the buffer pool right so it's keeping in buffer pool i'll mute you sir thank you so keeping this page in the buffer pool right keeping the page in the buffer pool and you are modifying it so my point is who will go and bring that data somebody has to do it. meaning sir of course are kd background processes okay yes i agree sir background processes sir sql server has lot of like oracle has got that boxes boxes and boxes and boxes of background processes sql server also has got lot of background processes i agree but sir to do any task anywhere in this world a servant i don't like to use the word servant but a facilitator or a helper or an assistant whatever names you want to call them you can put it 
the reason why i said servant is because with that word we quickly connect okay so sir what i am saying is sql server instance needs a servant or sql server instance needs a helper or an assistant to to open that database to bring the data and keep it in the memory not only sir this is one task i told you okay one of, sir if i ask you what is a um, main responsibility of a maid or a servant at house there are multiple responsibilities one responsibility may be cleaning the floor cleaning the house or cleaning the dishes or cleaning washing the wash, uh, clothes or you know the list is long like that sir, sir uh, servant of sql server okay servant of sql server also got multiple responsibilities one responsibility so you will understand is what i am saying now somebody has to go get the data from database somebody has to put the database back to the database so who is doing that in the background don't say servant say service account. account service account so so service somebody account. must help service accounts service account Ah, oh, okay. Wait, sir. Let me say that. So, Gaurav, for example, Gaurav in the class. Gaurav wants to. Sir, this is my laptop, right? Gaurav comes to my house. Gaurav wants access to this PC. He wants to access my laptop. Am I clear? Gaurav wants to access my laptop. And I said no, Gaurav. I will not give. You. Gaurav says no, Kiri. I want to access this PC. So I don't want to tell my password. So what I should technically do is create one account for Gaurav. Yes. Okay. So, how do we do it in a Windows operating system, sir? Very easy. Yes, sir. Ah. Okay. I'll show you the stupid way first. Then I'll show you the uh, first. I'll show you the stupid way, sir. Then I'll show you the admin way, our way. So, how is the stupid stupid way? Click on start. Hmm. Is that sir? I forgot. Yeah. How to do it? I don't remember. Can you, sir? Control panel. Ah, no, no. That that is the smart way. Let's go to sir. Go to control panel. in windows go to control panel in control panel um, user accounts user accounts click on user account this is my account okay um manage another account uh, add a new user mm, and then you go to the same as a family member mm, friend family member okay chalo family member or or maybe a friend i don't have an option there so what stupid is this what are the options like graphically doing all this too much of time it is taking okay i'll do so i can have to give his mail id okay, i'll give for example gautam at outlook.com two minutes please wait i'm not wasting time i want to show you this screen and then um organizer i don't know if you are not pissed off or not i'm irritated this is like an ugly way of creating okay wait sir add other users to this pc i sir sir leave it sir. can i close all this close all this easy option sir as somebody said just now l u s r m g r dot m s l u s r means local user mgr means manager so local user manager dot ms so start run hmm? lusr mgr dot ms hmm? so go to users see sir, how easy it is straight forward sir go to users right click and say new user and call gautam sorry gaurav right gaurav gaurav yes everyone and then new gaurav's password Gaurav, I am giving a temporary password. If you want to change later, change it. So A D M I N. So I am giving a temporary password. A D M I N. So user must change password at next login. So you have to change your password. Create it and click on create. Are we good? Gaurav will change his password next time when he logs in. Am I? May I create this? Is this easy or that stupid method is easy, sir? This is easy. click on create what happened password okay maybe okay that's click on create sir gaurav's account is created now gaurav 
I'll give you the password temporarily, so you can change it later and log in. This is one way. One minute, sir. So Gaurav is a person, right? Krish is a person, right? Right, sir. These are persons. Persons will also you and default user one zero 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 something. That is also a person. So these are all people using this computer, sir. Like a human using the computer, I can also create one service account. Service accounts, or maybe I'll call it as a SQL Server Service Account. Any problem? Anybody have restrictions? SQL Server Service ACC Service Account, and I'll put a name for password for this one. Okay, sir. By the way, sir, for service accounts, don't give, sir. Their passwords are not changed. They are. They don't have control by themselves. They are helpers. So they will help whom? SQL, SQL Server. server. They will help server. for what purpose? Accessing data, storing data. They are helpers of SQL Server. Will they change password by themselves? Do they have brain? Do they are they humans? They are not humans. They are designed to help SQL Server. So I'm. I'm not selecting password must be changed. I'm selling. I'm telling, user cannot change password. Password never expires. And so I created like this. So you tell me, sir, Gaurav is a human, right? Service account is a. Very, but in a, a practical world, uh, like service account has to be changed after certain period, right? But itself, it should not change itself. Somebody must change. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so, sir, so service account is here. Gaurav is here. Gaurav is a person. Service account is a is a is a bot. Is a is a not a bot. It's a account which is controlled by SQL Server. So this is how you create service accounts. Sir, now come back to the screen, please. It is asking you, hey, what did I create now? What is the name I created now? SQL Server service account, right, sir? And put the password. Done, sir. Now, now who will you who will use this? Uh, who, Richie, um, what nonsense! This account will be used by whom? SQL Server. For what purpose? For doing some administrative work. SQL Server needs help. This guy will help SQL Server. Any questions? So service account screen is a very very important screen. So one minute, one minute. Sir. I'll give you a small example. Uh, let's say uh, Fayas, I'm sorry, uh, Fayazas has moved to a new apartment with his family. Okay, so he moved to a new apartment recently. Moved. When he moved to that new apartment, sir, he wanted a maid, a servant for help. Right. So, what are the options, please? What should Fike first be doing? Obviously, ask neighbors. Ah, uh -huh. neighbors, right? Neighbors. So, go and ask, like, hey, uh, anybody here? And then, then they will say, ah. So, normally, ninety-nine percent mindset is the same. You will not go and search in uh, any uh, any. Social media or something. So obviously he'll search with neighbors and double check. So same way, or he will not bring somebody with him because he still doesn't understand the new. He moved new, right, sir? He doesn't understand the locality and all. Of course, he may bring a maid with him later, but right now, initial days, obviously they will not do that. Correct? Agree? Everybody agrees with this example, sir. Now, what I am saying is, so when you move, it's a new instance, right? It's a new instance you are creating for the first time. So there are two options, sir. Do you want to create a service account of your own, like I did now, or do you want to use the apartment's inbuilt service account? I mean, sorry, servant itself. Oh, Kiri, are you saying that in Windows there are some inbuilt servants? Yes, they are. In Windows operating system, sir, they are inbuilt servants. Can you see their name? Local system. Local system. So in Windows operating system, there are some servants by default, by default, without you creating anything new. Of course, we created a new service account now. No need to create any new service account, sir. 
in built in windows there are some servants available for the apartment there are some servants by default available you can avail them but but sir you all know the problem if you talk to the neighbor and get the same servant as your neighbor problems of timings will come you also wanted 7 am they also wanted 7 am or 7 to 9 am is the most rush hour everybody wants made at the same time then you adjust some compromises that means sir a this is a shared account moreover among many people not a dedicated service account so so problem is there can be some issues that can come up in the sense so sir you you decide sir go to service uh, everyone i don't know if you know if you don't know this but i'll show you once go to services.msc sir in every windows operating system whether you know this or not sir in your laptop my laptop everybody's laptop so for example uh, if you go to services.msc services.msc will show you what all services are running in your system sir like what audio service sir microsoft audio audio meaning the sounds that you listen from your oh, sound one second audio audio service there where are you one minute sir microsoft audio 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 so okay anyways a print service ah uh, print spooler sir whenever you print a document print spooler will ensure that the printing document reaches your printer if you have a printer attached to your computer like that so there are so, there are so many services in in your in your operating systems so windows audio uh, windows audio yeah you look at this sir every time you play a song from your system or a youtube video from your system audio is played through audio service and sir does audio service time has a service account on the last yes local sir okay go to print spooler sir time do you have service account local sir yes so that means everything you do in windows needs a service account not only sql sir not only sql server sir look at this if you do uh, if i click on the top here arranged by order can you see what are the different service account present in every windows operating system first one local service and local service is helping how many people you see you see one oh i don't know i don't want to count oh my god 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 till here so till here local service is a busy one helping many people right wait sir now come down local system are local system is even busy there are many people oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god ding 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 till here and sir network service is little lazy uh, service account nobody wants to use this guy much that kid is stop why these many services why three are three accounts are there in windows sir? so now that means you are you may be having a little itching to know which service account is better one so i think if you understood by now local system is more busy sir who will be more busy the person who does more work will be more busy that means this service account is most reliable one which one local system so remember that in old hindi movies telugu movies tamil movies that ramu kaka character the most trustworthy servant in your house who has been working for 25 years 30 years 40 years huh. i mean the name might change here and there but ramu kaka or ramu or or, or i think you got what i am saying sir the person has the liberty to go and open your house locker also and take the money and make a payment as well that much of liberty you give right to that special person i don't know if somebody is running in your mind in your grandfather's house where you saw someone with that stature uh, same thing so local system service account is the most 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 trustworthy service account in windows because it has got lot of admin rights uh kidi what are the uh, what are the differences between like uh, what sir, the privileges uh, uh, before you ask the question i'll tell you one thing sir we don't have to understand what local service permissions it has what local system permissions it has what network service has there are three service accounts sir every one again i'm repeating sir in every windows laptop in every windows laptop server anywhere these three service accounts in are common network service local service local service local system local system local system and of all the three sir local system has got the more highest authority 
Yes. So Rahul, before I come to your question, sir, he's got the highest authority. So like Ramukaka, as I said, trustworthy person, you can definitely go for it. And sir, that is why it is being used by many service accounts. So for SQL Server also, do you want to use your in sir, two options, sir. Do you want to use inbuilt service account present in the apartment? Or do you want to put your own, bring your own person? Your choice, I do it. That is also fine. This is also fine. Anything is okay. Anything is okay. Of course, sir, uh, local system will have elevated permissions. And by the way, the joke is, sir, all of them don't have passwords. Uh, local system doesn't have password because they're inbuilt, right? They are part of the Windows family. That accounts don't have password. Local system, local service, network, mean, network service, network all three of them don't have passwords, just for your information. You can directly use them in Windows. So, sir, I repeat one last time. Whenever you're installing SQL Server, it is compulsory to provide a service account. It is compulsory. You can't skip the screen, by the way. Like, if the instance has to work, service account is compulsory. Without service account instance, it will, will, will not be able to work. Now, again, you have a choice here, sir. Do you want to go for an inbuilt service account or do you want to go for a your own service account? Do you want to create your own, which I showed you how to create, by the way. Go to LUSR MGR, create an account there, sir. Just create an account there. But again, make sure, uh, did I give any permissions to it? No, dummy, basic user. So service account you can create, sir. Two options you need to remember. Don't change password. Password never expires. That two options we take. That's it. Gautam is also a human only. The Gaurav is also a human only. And, and uh, service account is not a human really. But it is also an account. Both are accounts only. Sir. Both are accounts. Gaurav is also an account. Service account is also an account in Windows. User. Like a Windows user. But sir, you decide whether you want to use inbuilt. Or you want to use this one? And one more thing. So there was a Rahul's question. I wanted to stop that question because uh, we don't have to understand Ramu Kaka, what permissions, I'm so sorry, NTA, uh, local system has got what high permissions, local service has got little less why, uh, network service has got little less why because uh, that information is not totally available. And I Googled for it, I searched for it, but it's not available. So Rahul, that's why I stopped your questions. If that okay, was not, okay. hopefully that was your question. If there is any yes. other question, please ask. Like, no, no, like, uh, uh, means like, how can we like uh, uh, differentiate like uh, whether we have to use local system or uh, local service or uh, ah, sir, service? anyways, local service you can't use. Can you see here? Only yeah. two options. SQL Server is allowed to use only two: local okay. system or network service. Now, if you ask me which one to use, definitely, sir, you also know the answer now. It's local system because compared to local system and network service, which one has got higher elevated permissions? Local, local, system. local system. So you should go with local system. Yeah, there, there is something called as network uh, network system, network system or network authorities also like that. Uh, same thing, network service. Okay. But but sir, it has got anonymous access permissions, but local system is powerful than network service. So you go obviously go with local system normally. If you are going for inbuilt accounts. If you want to create your own set, tension, you can go with this directly. What is so, the best practice? Whether to use a, a inbuilt system? Of our own, sir. No, I mean, I would say you, you using your own service account is the best practice. Definitely. But we will do that later in the course, not right now. Sir, what I'm sir, finally saying is, sir, till we go to level two, so requesting all of you, till we touch level two topic, I want all of you to use only inbuilt accounts and especially local accounts. I understand, sir, it's not a perfect practice, but still use this one. Uh, I did not tell you about agent. We will discuss later, but any questions still here, sir? So have you understood the purpose of, yeah, I'll take the question, Sandhya. Have you understood the purpose of service account? Do you all understand that SQL Server needs a, a, an assistant? or a helper to perform a lot of background tasks. So don't think only taking data, bringing data. Okay, taking data, bringing data was one example I told. There are many other things SQL Server needs help with, which I will tell you later, like taking a backup. So listen, important point, sir. Whenever you take a backup in SQL Server, service account plays a very, very, very important role. If service account is not there, you cannot take a backup of a database. 
So backups, very important. Service account is extremely important. So there are many other things that, as I said, I'm, I'm not talking, I'm ceiling for now, but we'll talk in future. Okay. So, so again, repeating, sir, service account screen is very, very important. Like you saw previous screen instance, instance name, service account is also crucially important. Screen. And one last thing, sir, you create a service account of your own or use an inbuilt one is your choice. But for now, for temporarily till we go to level two, meaning another one, one and a half month, you will lose only local system. Sandhya, go ahead, please. Uh, okay, we are using service account. Uh, like we we create our own and uh, we use that. One. So, which service account? Uh, is, uh, who will command that SQL Server to use which service account it has to use? No, you told and, right. So, you you are telling you as a DBA, you are selecting. One second. Okay, sir. here it's a, oh, one. Yeah. Second. In client environment, most of the times, SA account is configured. Uh, but so that, 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 is, that is different, right, sir? That's a totally different. No, uh, so KD, uh, what one, one, one minute, everyone. Just give me a minute. Sir. Just give me a minute. Yeah, sure. I'm back. This kid's school has been cancelled today because of the bomb threat. So I hope you're aware. Uh, when I was, we were also not aware. My, my daughter, my wife took them to school for the bus and the bus didn't turn up. And she checked the, uh, yeah. Sir, no, don't roam in malls for the next at least a week or 10 days till things stabilize. In Hyderabad uh, or everywhere? What happened? Across, across, no, across, across. Especially in Bangalore, there are right now uh, news spreading out that there are okay. some threats in Bangalore. So, yeah, anyways, trying to be safer is better. Uh, we saw this news coming up in the yesterday. Also, we saw day before yesterday. Also, we saw, but today they called off the school for safety reasons. Government declared. Check Google; it will come to me. Okay, now coming back okay. to the point. So, Sandhya, I think somebody was saying something also. Uh, KD, uh, I want to say like uh, uh, the service account uh, is responsible to run SQL Server basically, right? Ah, uh, so background tasks of software. background Not tasks of SQL Server, correct? Okay, means like if we don't have a service account, then SQL Server will not start, right? Because definitely, all the tasks, yeah. either inbuilt is required or your own is required. But any of that one service account is compulsory. Service account is mandatory. SQL Server cannot run without service account, correct? Okay, my question was, see, uh, just uh, in a layman language, any server we have, uh, we command something to do. Here in service account, who will uh, uh, give an instruction to do uh, this kind of perform instance. Instance. Instance, instance. Instance will uh, tell uh, service account, hey, perform this action. It will do. 
So in a service account just follows what instance is and performs it. Okay, got it. Somebody was saying SA. What was that, sir? I was saying that. Oh no, my... SA, SA is a totally different conversation, sir. Not not in context with what we are discussing. Uh... In usual thing in our mind, like whenever while configuring a service account, we use SA, right? Most of the times. We'll do a different discussion. On this yeah, part. sorry, 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 yeah. sorry, sorry, my bad. Yeah, it's, it's a different yeah. conversation. Yeah, service account is different. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, so anyone else? Uh, any other questions till here, sir? That means congratulations. Today also we did not finish 2005 installation. No problem, sir. Hardly another screen is left. One more screen is left. Mm. Did there is no feature selection or something in 2005? No, because what we selected is that itself, sir. In latest versions, they have in later versions they have introduced. In 2005, it's like this only. And what about the binaries and stuff? Mm, it goes to C drive. We will talk. We will see. So everyone, so if you can just quickly see what is left, next is this one, sir. Okay, we will talk about this. And after that, this is what exactly Prajot was saying. Okay. And after that, sir, one more screen is this one, collation setting. This also we'll discuss tomorrow. And sir, that's all. Click on install. Oh. So two more screens only. 2005, that's it. 2005, that's all. One is security screen next. Next one is collation setting screen. After that, just click on install. That's all. So, so anyway, sir, 2005 done. To, uh, more, tomorrow, no doubt, we are closing it. Tomorrow itself, we will start 2008 R2. So, I will not do 8 and 8 R2. We will not do 8, okay? We will do directly 8 R2. One and the same, sir. No big difference. Then, sir, once 8 R2 is also finished, we will quickly move on. So, but today, so what are the important takeaways of today's session? One is SQL Server 2005. I showed you how to download. Okay, uh, maybe tomorrow I'll do in your system, uh, Ishwar or whoever wants to do this, I'll do in your system. Okay, and uh, next one, sir. Next one is, next important one. We also started sorry. looking at service uh, instance name. Yesterday we already discussed, but today we concluded it. Instance name, uh, six, 15, 16 characters length, uh, underscore dollar allowed. Uh, should not start with a number, should start with a character. And, and then uh, 50 instances are possible in a computer. Right, sir. Anything else? Did I miss? Um, yeah, instance name will be before the instance name. There are two instances named instance or default instance. Default instance means picks the computer name. Named instance means you give a name before the name. Computer name will server be there. Names, uh, server name slash or laptop name slash your uh, instance name. That's all. And then last but not the least, we started, we came to the service yeah, account okay. screen. Uh, in service accounts, sir. Most important one is understanding oh, okay. purpose of service account. Without service account, SQL Server cannot do most of its background activities. So service account is like an assistant, helper, or a servant. That's why we use that word. And and service account does a lot of background activities. Only one or two points we discussed. That's it. Uh, but we don't need to remember also, but at least one or two. And last one, service account can be two ways. You can create your own. Or you can use in local. My request to all of you till the installations topic finished until level one finishes is to use local system, local system, and local system. Sure, That's Katie. It. Okay. And then tomorrow we'll cover the remaining. I'm canceling the installation now, sir. I've canceled it. Let's talk. Tomorrow. Katie, uh, Katie can, can I talk offline for uh, two minutes with you? Yeah, yeah sure. Sir. Why not? We can call me. Uh, actually, the next class is about to start. So if you can, can we talk at around 10.30? Uh, okay, no problem. We'll do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Bye. sir. Let's yeah. meet tomorrow morning. Thank Same you. Bye -bye. Signing off. And sir, the game will be more intense going forward. We're waiting room game. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.